Okay, uh, I want to go over uh, something that happened uh, on our on our trip to uh, <clears throat> Alabama. Um, I bought a bought a tr different truck uh, before we left on our trip. I got a 2015 2500 Duramax, and uh, I got up um, while we were we were in where we were in Alabama. Um, uh, Gulf Shores, and uh, I got up one morning and uh, had a had a tire sensor that was giving me low low air pressure. So before I left out of the campground uh, to head home here in Tennessee, decided to take it up to a tire shop and went up to uh, a Discount Tire and uh, got the uh, got the thing checked out. Uh, wanted to wanted them to check everything, make sure it didn't have any issues uh, any any holes in the tires and what have you. And it's a good thing I did. Um, the tires, uh, the, the wheels actually, somebody, they put new tires on, on the vehicle when I bought it, I guess, uh, what I was told anyway. And whoever whoever the mechanic was that, that did it uh, decided he wasn't going to use a torque wrench, it looks like, so from what, what I've seen. And uh, he, he just took and hammered it down with an impact wrench, which is a no-no. Um, anybody knows that does it in mechanic, which I've been a mechanic for many years. You do not uh, take an impact and hammer down the lugs on a on a on a wheel. It's just uh, the wrong thing to do. Cause hot spots on the rotor, and uh, you stress out the studs. Uh, it does a lot of damage to the vehicle. In this case, if I would have had a flat tire while on the road, there's no way I would have got these wheels off. They physically had to take a a, a hammer. And hammer off all the lugs on on these wheels. Okay, um, these these are the lug nuts that were were taken off, and you can see how they were they are pretty well shot. I mean, they're they're in rough shape. They hammered them they hammered them down so hard. Uh, it, it's amazing. Um, uh, didn't do any other damage. You can see how how bad a shape they're they're in. But they literally, literally had to take a pipe and and a wrench and. And hammer, and I sat and watched them uh, as they were doing it off through the glass uh, there in a discount tire. And anybody that's dealt with discount tire know that they're they're uh, trained very well, and they use torque wrenches to put uh, lug nuts back on. They do it the way it's supposed to be done. That's why I'm a kind of a, a believer about discount tire and and the way they they handle the process when they do a repair. Um, this was uh, this was uncalled for. Shouldn't have been done. And uh, as the of course, these things, there's no way they could have been put back on because they're they're so hammered up so bad. And uh, so anyway, um, let's see, I got a whole box of them here. They had them take, but uh, there, I went and got new lugs. I got new chromes and stuff for them, so I'm gonna put them on. But as you can see right here, I've got I've got a stud. There's there's a stud right here. There's actually two of them on the left side. Uh, they're they're cross threaded, so they were actually cross threaded. It took them a while to get the ones that are cross threaded off because they were they were damaged so bad, and uh, they didn't put a lug back on there because the stud needed to be replaced. And they, of course, put a new lug on, they would have damaged damaged the new lug too, and it wouldn't have done any benefit at all. So um, anyway, uh, I've I've got new I've got new lugs. Uh, they like I said, the dealership would not. They paid for my lug nuts that I put on, but they would not take care of the stud. Um, the stud was damaged, so I need to have a new stud put in. So I'm gonna have to pull pull this wheel off this rotor and uh, hammer out the uh, stud and put a new stud in. Um, of course, they would have done it at, at my cost, which I, I I'm not gonna do. The dealership charged too much to put two studs in. These studs are not that big a deal. Um, I can do it right here at the house. And uh, anyway, it's kind of where I'm at. So I've got I've got uh, two studs I have to change, and um, put the uh, put the new uh, lugs on, and uh, I should be in in good shape. All uh, the uh, the the guy that sold me the vehicle, the the uh, the used car lot, um, he he was a real nice guy. He he treated me right. He did everything he could trying to get the service department. Uh, the uh, general manager to pay for this repair, but um, unfortunately, he, he it would it did not happen. So he he would not uh, 
he would not take care of the studs so i got two studs that i'm going to replace and uh, i'll get that done here um, maybe today it depends on the weather and uh, it looks like it's going to rain again here but as soon as i get a break in the weather i will be replacing the two studs that are damaged and uh, get that done just got done uh, taking care of the uh, the studs on my truck uh, that uh, were messed up and uh, you know I will uh, I won't say where they where it occurred because I can't say positively but uh, uh, the tires the tires were put on when I bought the truck what I've been told and lug nuts were overstressed and torqued pretty heavy so uh, we'll leave we'll leave it at that uh, everything is repaired now I've got all all new lug nuts and studs and everything is repaired and they're torqued to this uh, specific torque that the lug nuts are to be torqued to with a with a, um, a click wrench give you a tip when buying a used vehicle make sure you look it over really well uh, of course some things you will not see like in my case uh, lug nuts lug nuts have been over torqued um, uh, by the mechanic mechanics uh, unfortunately in, in most cases will use an impact wrench and not pull out a click wrench at all uh, they won't torque it down to spec they just hammer it down with an impact wrench causes uh, rotor damage hot spots stud stress all kinds of different things it's very critical that when you go to a tire shop that you look for those things and find tire shops that will use a torque wrench um, discount tire does I've been using them for quite a while um, there's there's those things in particular or why I go back to discount tire uh, you got to be very cautious of those things make sure the mechanic that's working in your vehicle uh, has a knowledge and will follow the uh, the uh, engineered procedures that uh, that are developed by the uh, manufacturer and things are done according to spec uh, there's a reason for torque there's a reason for things to be done correctly and if a, a dealership or a tire shop or whatever does not follow the specs uh, by the manufacturer you will have problems uh, it may not happen immediately but they will happen down the road so make sure you you go to a mechanic that does follow procedures and uh, just watch what they do watch the workmanship they do how clean the shop is all that kind of stuff because those things are are, are keys to to a, a getting a, a good repair on your vehicle uh, thanks for watching i hope this helped uh, please subscribe and have a great day